This photo is from Kayama, New South Wales, which is a small, quaint coastal town in Australia, in the New South Wales state, and it is around two hours drive from Sydney, which is the capital of New South Wales, and where I am based. Few days back, I was uh, looking to travel to Kayama from Sydney, and I looked at some of the Google Maps for the routes and directions and it gave me some two or three routes from Sydney to Kiyama and as you can see the best route is um, the going towards Kiyama is, is sort of a coastal route which passes through a lot of good natural reserves and national parks and then it reaches Kiyama so my plan was to travel to Kiyama with this route but I didn't want to take the same route on my way back to Sydney. I wanted to travel through this area which is called as a called as Kangaroo Valley. It go passes through some rolling hills and it is again a really cool um, route to visit and then I wanted to travel on the motorway on my way, way back because I didn't want to pass through the Sydney traffic um, during the uh, uh, during the peak hours. But I wanted to know what sort of um, terrain would this be? Would it be worthwhile uh, traveling through this route or not? Or should I take something like this? Uh, but I, all I all I could do was to just look at the street view, which was two years old, or maybe some static photos. So it was hard to know as from which uh, route should I take, and I could only make the educated guess. But I think this problem is going to be solved uh, with the help of Google's new technology, which is based on generative AI. It is called as immersive view for routes. Now, if, let me show you a video first from a recent Google conference, which uh, particularly depicts this immersive route. If you look at this video, I hope that you can see it on your screen. Now. What Immersive View does is, it is an entirely new way to explore a place, letting you feel like you are right there even before you visit. Using advances in AI and computer vision, Immersive View fuses billions of street views and aerial images to create a rich digital model of the world. And it layers helpful information on top, like the weather, traffic, and how busy a place is. So, this immersive view has started rolling out um, just yesterday in London, Los Angeles and New York, San Francisco and Tokyo, and soon Google is going to roll it out in Sydney, Melbourne and other cities of Australia. Especially I believe that this will be very helpful for the bike riders too, because if you're looking to ride your bike in the Sydney, for example, or in Melbourne, then it's hard to figure out on Google Maps as where exactly the good bike paths are and if there is no bike path which route would be safer to take with the help of these immersive routes i think the life will be very um, easier for the bike riders as well as for the drivers now just to go into a bit of this uh, new technology which which is uh, google is calling as immersive view for routes this immersive view, what it does is, to create these true-to-life scenes, Google uses neural radiance fields, or NERF, which is an advanced AI technique. It transforms ordinary pictures into 3D representations. With NERF, Google can accurately recreate the full context of a place, including its lighting, the texture of materials, and words in the background. All of this allows you to see if a bar's moody lighting is the right vibe for a date night or if the views at a cafe make it the ideal spot for lunch with the friends. So I hope that you appreciate where this is heading. I think it's just a matter of weeks before it is uh, rolled out to most of the world, especially um, I can't wait to use it for Sydney, uh, where I'm based for the bike riding and for the driving around. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much.